Okay, now I'm very excited to welcome this next guest to our show. Her name is Anita Clark. She's a very popular fashion blogger. Looking all sunny and gorgeous. So the blog is called I Want, I Got. That's and right. fashion blogs, as we all know, are so popular these days. And yours is incredibly, I mean, the credentials are, you look at your bio. <laughs> Greta Constantine has named dresses after you. Uh, very recently, Italian Vogue has even yeah, taken interest in you. Talk to us a little that. bit about Italian Vogue. I want to hear about that. It was, you know, things happen so randomly in fashion blogging. Like, you get a weird email from someone, and you kind of scrutinize it a little, and then you take that leap of faith and reply back and it was a girl who uh, writes for Italian Vogue and was like I love your style and I want to do a feature on you an interview and um, a slideshow and it was like obviously the highlight of my life. <laughs> yeah, obviously. It's pretty crazy, yeah. Now what's cool about this is that it's actually our senior director uh, and uh, the Fashion Friday producer that met you at an event and brought you in and it turns out that we actually go way back. <laughs> if you are in the 1970s buying a house in Richmond Hill, Ontario and you are one of two black families, you become friends very quickly. <laughs> My family was one family, your family yep. was the other family. So my mother would see your father or your mother pushing the stroller <laughs> through the snow up Young Street in Richmond Hill. And so it's incredible. Our parents actually know each other. Yeah. Um, and so it's so funny that things have come full circle. So as a fashion blogger, you actually have a, a day job and fashion yes, is your passion. So when did you start the blog? Uh, I started in 2005. Um, yeah, next year is my 10 year anniversary, which is crazy. Wow. Um, it's just a really it's kind of an obsession I'd say yeah. um, that I'm still doing it and still love it and every day is like a new adventure so many things when I think I'm like oh I'm over no one cares something else comes up like this yes. you know or a, a photo shoot that's really amazing to be a part of with a, a great brand and I, I just love it it's amazing well we do care and I want you to help us out a little <laughs> bit because there's so much information out there it's hard to figure out what's credible what is not what would you say you should be looking for in a credible blog? Um, you know, I think people shouldn't be, people should look for people who aren't afraid to say they don't like something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or, you know, I think other bloggers, you should have a sense of humor. Don't take yourself that seriously. Like, this is fun. Like, it's a blessing that you get to do these kind of things. Yeah. And, you know, don't, don't take yourself too seriously. And look for someone that speaks to you, you know, you find someone that has that style that you really like or someone you admire, they're doing something really interesting or they're very intelligent and they speak about the topics that you like. Yeah. Look for things like that, like look for something that gravitates you to that person. Yeah. And um, that's basically it really kind of. I want I got dot com is written very well, so oh, you can thanks. tell it's coming from an intelligent perspective. But since we talked about opinions, <laughs> I want to get your opinion on a trend this summer that you will never be a part of. Uh, the Birkenstock trend definitely Yay! is not. <laughs> Never See, I happen. always get so much <laughs> flack for the heels, but she's on my side, okay? For once, you don't want to do the Birkenstocks. No, they're not really me at all. No. Okay, all right. Yeah, me neither, but I do have a pair at home, but whatever. Um, <laughs> as long as you wear them in the garden. Yeah, I wear them fun. in the garden. <laughs> and then just one more thing. Is there any trend this season that you think is being completely misinterpreted on the streets of it's, the city? It's funny with trends. Uh, every time I think something's done wrong, I see someone do it really well. And yeah. so I'm just sort of everything goes and if you can pull it off great then that's amazing and you know just try it out it's all about adventure and and you know making yourself happy okay i like <laughs> that make yourself happy and that's why you do this it's your passion so uh go to i want dot com i want i got dot com I want I got check dot her com. out on twitter so good to see you again <laughs> thank you uh, after all these years because we used to pass each other in a stroller <laughs>